Hello, you're very welcome to Danu's Irish Herb Garden. On a beautiful day, I just cannot express how wonderful it is. And I'm so glad to be outdoors again after days on the computer, um, writing um, courses and reading student assignments, which are absolutely all wonderful, I must say, really high standard. But it's so great to be back outside. And um, the last couple of days I've been out tidying up. I've got a lot of spring fever in me. I'm really full of get up and go. So I've been doing a lot of work. I've been tidying up these herb beds, topping them up with hue manure. They were absolutely overtaken with grass for some reason. Very bad this year. And um, I've tidied them up and I put some raspberry bushes in here. And out here on the veg beds, I've weeded and hoed and tidied up and I've put down a lot of cardboard and I'm going to top it all off with homemade um, compost. And then I can get my vegetables in. There are all kinds of little jobs to be done and Lol is busy as well. And I've um, finally got around to doing this willow arch. It has just erupted in growth and um, willow sprouts coming out of it and it's been blown by the wind quite severely so while we have a calm day I am tying in all these long willow slips to make it a lot more sturdy and hopefully withstand the rain uh, sorry withstand the wind it is bending over but when I do the other arch I will tie them in together and then hopefully they will be strong and last a few more years. We did have some wind, as you may have heard. We had a couple of storms and this little rustic um, fence that Lol made from some bamboo that somebody donated um, was blown down. But fortunately, we had some picket fences that we salvaged last year, I think. And um, they have just fitted into the space as if they were made to measure. So we're chuffed to bits about that. And thank God that we've got the fence up again. But we are so lucky, apart from salvaging the picket fence, we've just had this delivered. The local pub, Kyo's Bar and Grocery in Balakaneely, has delivered um, all this old wood that they've removed from their shed. And um, it's perfect timing because it's all going to be used on the greenhouse renovation and the greenhouse extension. So Lol is busy, busy denailing all this wood. Well, he's done it now, actually. And it's all stored here in the shed, ready for use on the renovation of the greenhouse. So we feel rich beyond our wilder dreams. The poor greenhouse definitely needs some work to it, as you can see. And Lol has dug out um, a barge foundation and he's putting in some cement blocks because we do need a solid foundation for the heavy windows that will be going in. I'm just delighted that today is a beautiful sunny day with no wind, no rain. I can enjoy the signs of spring while I'm working and um, I can get on with planting some trees now because I've had them healed in for a few days. Um, I always buy them as little slips, as bare root slips, because then they're small. I get them as small as I can because we're in such a windy, salt-laden area that I think the smaller they are when they're being planted, the more opportunity they have to adjust to the weather here and to become um, climatized. 
So I get them when they're very small and um, these are oaks that I'm putting in here. And I'd just like to say to Robin in Australia um, that the trees I'm planting for you, I was hoping to put them all together <clears throat> so they'd be in a kind of little special tree spot. But just the state of the land can't always get what I want in where I want it. So they're just dotted around in amongst some of the older trees and um, elsewhere. I'm planting, I've got trees here in the wheelbarrow. I've got birch and oaks and I'm going to plant them down in the meadow around the herb shed. I'm making a little pathway with the birch that I can plant um, with bluebells and spring and summer bulbs. So it'll make a mini, mini little woodland in time to come. But the fleece I get from my, this is all sheep's fleece here. I get this from my brother and from neighbors and um, it's either cheap or free. So it's a wonderful resource. It's really handy putting around the young little trees because then you can see where they are because otherwise they just disappear. They're so thin and they could easily be spoiled and trodden on. So the sheep's fleece is brilliant. It acts as a marker. It's also a kind of mulch because it stops grass and weeds coming up around the young trees. And then as it rots down, it's putting nutrients into the soil and giving the trees a feed. So it's really a fantastic resource. And I'm sure lots of little animals and birds steal bits for their, for their nests. These trees here I planted two years ago and there's a video if you want to go back and see it. You can see how wet this ground was. It was just pure squelch. It was not even soil. But now, after the couple of years all of these alders have been growing, they've dried up this ground un unbelievably so. It's damp now but it's not wet. In that, when I put the spade in, I don't get a huge puddle of water. The green sod roof on the herb shed was dug out of this meadow and consequently we've had, I suppose you could call it a dip, a dip in the ground um, and it, it's quite wet in the dip because it's below the surface of the rest of the meadow. So over the last few years I've been digging it, uh, filling it in rather with um, strimmings and grass cuttings and general garden waste and brambles and all sorts of things, cuttings and prunings, just to build it up again and bring it level with the rest of the garden. So it's nearly there now and I'm spreading the rest of this fleece just to add some nutrition into the ground. And then putting over the soil that Lol has dug out from the greenhouse um, foundations. So there's a little bit gone in already. So that will all be spread out and um, hopefully everything will settle down and um, we'll have it level again. And then in a year or two, we can start planting more trees into that. There's a lot of clearing around the trees to do here because I want to put in some hedging and at the moment I can't see the wood for the trees, ha ha. So I'm going to need to take out all that dried grass and then put a hedging along for extra privacy when the trees are bare and just as an extra windbreak. So that's a little job for tomorrow which I'm looking forward to. It's just such a relief to be outside on a on such a good day. I hope the rain stops soon in Australia and I hope that, um, you know, things settle down elsewhere. What I'm going to do now is after that hard day's work, I'm going to sit here on the bench in the evening sun and just enjoy being here in the garden. 
So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and maybe tell your friends if they're of like mind and um, in below I put all the details of the website there are books and herb courses if you're interested and have a look at the website and find out something about us and have a wonderful week until we're back next Sunday bye for now